All right, welcome back to the Knives Fast channel, guys. Say hello to Ren and Stimpy and Patter Test Man, Log TV and Choo Choo, and let's get started with today's video. Okay, we have a package for you guys to unbox here, or for me to unbox for you guys. Uh, this comes by way of Concept Knives, I believe, if I know correctly. Uh, and I'm going to go ahead and use the Keith the Knife Freak unboxing knife. Keith, this came by way of FedEx. Oh, oh, I think I got to touch up the edge on this unboxing knife. Uh-oh. No, no, no. We're good. Okay. Uh, but still might, might touch it up a little bit. All right. So, yeah, this is from Concept. So let's see what we got. Now, they reached out to me. You guys know uh, I, they sent me a couple knives recently, and they've been doing that. So that is awesome. Thank you uh, to the folks over there at Concept. Really appreciate you uh, doing that. Now, <coughs> you guys know I've also, let's just make sure it is what I think it is. Yep. You guys know I've also seen a Concept Main Street with the access lock. And that's what we have here, but we have a different version. Um, so this is what they're calling version six. Uh, the last one I had was version four or five. I don't remember. Um, and so they just asked, you know, it's a little different. Uh, check it out. I'm not sure uh, it's, you know, how different it is, but we're going to check it out and uh, see. But it says it is black stonewash, 154 cm and green micarta comes in there. Typical uh, pouch here. Ooh, green micarta. Uh, looking nice, even just through the package here. So let's see. Look at the green thumb studs. That is like zombie green thumb studs. But we have uh, micarta here. Not super aggressive micarta, uh, but not slick either. Very nice. Uh, we do have uh, the axis style lock here, the bar lock, the crossbar lock. Yeah, feels good. All right. Green thumb studs. That is too cool. All right, yeah, look at that. And we do have uh, the black stone wash. Let me wipe that blade off. Uh, the last one I had, I was like, oh, why is it so shiny? And then I wiped it off and realized it was just, yep, coated in oil. Uh, that is crazy. See, it's still shiny, but it's not like uber crazy. 154 CM, uh, you have the Dirk Pinkerton uh, logo here, the Main Street, uh, 154 CM. And what does that say? The T101, 1015V6. <coughs> and the concept logo. Okay. Okay, well, I will tell you right off the bat. I told you, I believe, uh, the last one I had was the red and black uh, g Mascus, And I said the spring was a little spongy. Uh, guys, spongy is gone. Uh, that just fires out of there. Look at that. Uh, and you know what? It's only going to get better as the detent track wears in. Very nice. Okay. Same uh, feel in the hand. Got a nice chunky four-finger grip. We do have uh, really cool jimping here. Beautiful looking knife. I love this finish, actually. Their black stone wash is more distressed uh, than a lot. It almost turns like a trans transparent almost a little little bit on the black there. I think that looks pretty stinking slick. Uh, let some more of that steel color shine through, but still keeps it black. I got to tell you, the action on this one, there is no, there's no lock stick uh, at all. It just, as you can see, just fires back in, fires out. Now, it's still not going to be, you know, as strong as like a regular detent, but you can see, watch. Yeah. Okay. Can I middle finger flick it with the thumb stud? No, come on, KC. Yeah, with a little wrist, I can. Uh, very good. Just got to have some guts there, man. Very nice. Okay, and again, green micarta. Uh, again, uh, the Main Street is a cool design because I love this really pointy worn cliff that I can get out here and cut with or get up here on this kind of harpoon area and cut with. Very nice. You do have a very acute sharpening choil. No, not cute. Acute. Uh, ah, I like this. Uh, so, yeah, if that's the change you guys made, is making that spring a little tighter uh, concept, thank you very much. This feels pretty, well, and, and, until I screw it up, uh, feels pretty good. Now, of course you can fail it. Well, hold on. Yeah, of course you can fail it. You know, you should be... It's a spring. It's not a true detent. It's a spring, but that is way better. 
uh, way, way better. So very, very cool. You do have uh, the same treatment on the pocket clip, which I think is so critical that they did that same. It's light. It actually has some of the silver shining through. You see that on the edges here. Kind of distressed looking black. I like that. Very nice. And again, we know this one's going to be a cutter from experience, but we'll just go ahead and do some. Uh, I, I, I don't know if I'll do a full review on this or if I'll do a uh, like a rapid review of this and some others, but holy Moses. Uh, this, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's just if I could hold on to it, definitely. And you, of course, for those of you, I hear people saying all the time, I don't like that style of knife because I want a tip. There is a tip, okay? <laughs> you, you got a tip here, okay? There is a tip. Uh, I get it. You know, a lot of people want uh, pokey stabby knives, uh, so this may not be the one for you, but it definitely has. Man, I got a mess here now after wiping that off. It uh, most definitely has a tip. So very cool. I'll probably do either, uh, I'll probably do like a rapid review of it uh, with, with something else. You know, I'll add it in with, with another knife uh, since I've just reviewed one of these recently. Uh, but again, I got to tell you right off the bat, it's most definitely better on the deployment uh, than the one I had now. Uh, there is your Ontario rat. Well, we'll just do this. Uh, you know, I'm going to do it later, but, you know, I just figured I'd throw it in. Uh, just in case you guys don't remember the size of this, it's about rat one size. Um, there you go. So very, very cool concept. I appreciate it, you guys, uh, for sending this out and supporting the channel. I think this is like uh, the third knife they've sent me. Now, the, the other main street I had actually came from White Mountain Knives. That was the uh, black and red uh, g Mascus version. And so they saw that I had that, and they're like, we'd like to send you one. And so there you go. Very, very cool. So, again, this is the concept um, T1015V6, uh, the main street designed by Dirk Pinkerton with the 3.4-inch blades. So, hey guys, tell me what you think of this one down below. Uh, what do you think of those thumb studs? That is the question. Uh, I think they're like coated uh, in the color. And that is pretty wild looking. Let's get them up here where you can actually see. Matter of fact, light, come on, cooperate with me here. All right. Very cool. Uh, they're, they're not the same color as the scale, uh, but I actually think they look pretty cool as accents. It would have been cool to have that same, like a pivot collar. That would have looked really, really cool. Uh, but let me know what you guys think. Give me a thumbs up. Comment down below. I appreciate each and every one of you for your support and for your uh, kindness. Please come, uh, like, comment, subscribe, notification bell, all the things. And thank you so much for watching. The Whoops, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Okay, now you can say it. Thanks for watching the Knives Fast channel. Whoa.